get the uh, privilege, when you found a company, you get certain privileges, right? And one privilege is to open, and the other privilege is to close. And it has just been an extraordinary day. I got to tell you that when I was hopping on the plane last night from Israel and looking at this 14 and a half hour flight ahead of me and thinking that I would be here for less than a day and then hop back on a plane tonight, go back to Israel so I could be with my family for the Jewish New Year, my enthusiasm was a little under control. I was, you know, a little bit daunted by what was ahead of me. And then I came here today and I met all of you and I watched this incredible crowd, the incredible content, the energy that was in this room. And I said, you know what? I made the right decision. I'm glad I came. I'm glad you all came. It was just extraordinary. Thank you. Give yourselves a, a really warm set of applause. One of the things that we pride ourselves on at our crowd is that we're doing more than just investing to make money. We're doing investing to essentially promote a double bottom line, where you can make profit and do good at the same time. And the companies you saw here today, many of them are tackling global challenges. It can be companies like Zebra Medical, who are basic, basically changing the way that we detect cancer and other maladies through AI-driven interpretation of medical images. It's companies like Edgy Bees who are using drones to save lives in wildfires or tsunamis or hurricanes. Companies that are stopping the cyber hackers from stealing our personal data like uh, It's Mine and others. And if you look at this, actually, if I can go backwards, maybe I go back, yeah. Our companies are active literally in all of the areas. And whether it's ag tech or data or digital health or drones or cannabis or energy or logistics, we have a complete package, an ecosystem. And literally, you see people here are changing the world, whether it's Steve Jobs or Jonas Salk or one of our own entrepreneurs, a gentleman by the name of Amit Gopher, who I think represents the real resilience and brilliance of what's going on in Israel and entrepreneurs world over. Amit was an entrepreneur who sold his first company to Medtronic in the medical device area. He was enjoying himself one afternoon with his family when he had an accident on an ATV. And that accident left him for life a quadriplegic. Now for most people, when you become a quadriplegic, life as you know it is over. Right? You're going to struggle to survive. You just want to get through the next day, but Amit's not that way. And Amit went ahead and developed a company called Rewalk, who would allow people who were confined to a wheelchair to walk again. Literally robotic legs that you put on and then you walk. We were fortunate enough at our crowd to be one of his investors. Company went public. We made a lot of money. Thousands and thousands of lives have been changed. But is that enough for a guy like Amit Gopher? And the answer is no, because he's back at it again, because he himself couldn't use the rewalk because you need arm strength, and that's only for paraplegics, not quadriplegics. So we invented a new company called Up and Ride, and you're seeing it now on the screen, where it literally takes a quadriplegic and gets them upright. You might have seen earlier in the video the gentleman who was at the R Crowd Summit who used it to be married under the Jewish wedding canopy where all of his life he's been in a wheelchair and now he's standing eye to eye with his wife at the most important moment of his life. And this, this is the best example of the double bottom line of a company which will make a lot of money and makes money. And by the way, up and Ride just got FDA approval last week, by the way, in the U.S., and now it's approved by the FDA. But it will change people who are disabled, their ability to have self-respect and to get around and have access. It's huge. And to be able to do this in a democratic way, where it's not just the sovereign wealth funds or the wealthiest families of the world who get a chance to take advantage of this, but it's all of us. 
And by the way, all of us is everybody. It's not just the individual investors who are here. There are many institutions, many family offices, and we welcome them together as part of the R Crowd family, and many corporations who are seeking innovation through our platform. So when you look at our ecosystem, we believe there's sort of a picture in the background there of uh, that uh, wonderful movie Avatar, where the, the tree is sort of uh, connecting everybody. And, and I really believe that the power of what we've built is the fact that we have in one room entrepreneurs, investors, the portfolio companies, venture capitalists, the best of them, like SoftBank and whatnot, multinational corporations, and then what we call the ecosystem, which is everybody else, the service providers, the lawyers, the accountants, the consultants. Because together we can create miracles, literally, in terms of helping these companies start solving these global challenges. When you look at our corporate innovation program that Lolly DeVade, who you met earlier today, runs, she's literally working now with hundreds of corporations worldwide who are using our products and our platform to invest, to get education, to bring delegations to places like Israel, as well as to get scouting services. We're matching people up. Literally, in the second quarter of this year, we made 150 individual introductions between our portfolio companies and uh, large corporations. It's just the beginning. And with your help, we can make this thousands of introductions. We're producing content. So if you sign up to our platform, you will get on a regular basis, every week, a newsletter filled with videos and content. You'll get quarterly, our Innovation Insider. And please sign up to our important mobile app so you can stay in touch with these companies and share them with your friends. This app is available on the App Store, or on Google Play. We urge you to go download. It doesn't cost anything, no obligation. Please join us with this app. And finally, follow us on all of the social media. We're very active on all of these and more. We want you, if you like something, if you have questions, if you don't like something, we want you simply to be engaged with us. And we really believe that this double bottom line works, that we can create companies that will change the world. When you look at what some of the studies are saying about what's called impact investing, that it's hundreds of billions of dollars, that already in Israel it's almost a quarter of the total venture market, that it will allow us to build ties between Latam and Israel because the technologies we need to solve hunger, to put out fires so that we can save the incredible planet which we all depend on, okay, this is not something which is something we can sit back and let happen. Technologists and investors, we have to take leadership here. We have to create tools and companies who will go and change literally the world that we're living in. Because if we don't do it, nobody's going to do it. And the best way to do it is to get entrepreneurs together with investors and corporations and journalists and lawyers and get them working as part of a single unit. And to do this globally. Because whether I'm living in Israel, I'm living in China, or I'm living in Sao Paulo, Brazil, we all share the same planet. And we have to solve these problems together. What can you do? Well, first of all, sign up. Just be part of our network. Look, share our information. Look at these companies, see if you can engage with them. Make connections for the companies you saw today. If you know somebody in the food industry, introduce them to Duma Tok. If you know any of these companies that you saw potential contacts, make them. And you can do that, by the way, on our website. Bring us the best deals. We are looking for Brazilian deals so we can invest. By the way, we've already made four investments with SoftBank. We're now going to have to hunt investments with SoftBank here in Lat Latam because we want to invest money here. We want the crowd from all over the world to come and to put money to work. Help get our message out on social media. Help us recruit staff. If any of you want to work for us or work for our companies, let us know. Go to our crowd talent and sign up and help us host events in, in your cities. 
I hope next year we do this again and we will do this again. Because this has been a success. This is the first time we've taken our summit formula and moved it around the world. And we're going to come back every year bigger and stronger in Brazil. And we'll see you again next year. So at this point, I think we have one final video, if I'm not mistaken. It's about the summit. And we want to invite you to come and join us again in February in Jerusalem. Let me see if I can get that to play. There are literally 182 countries represented. The diversity here is rather extraordinary. Whoever gets the network effects first gets the most value first and usually gets the best outcome. I am convinced that opportunity exists in my country, your country, and every country in the world. Thank you very much. I tried the device once and immediately I knew this is what I dreamed of. It's an opportunity we're incredibly excited about and very appreciative of our crowd for the chance to bring us together to do that. I want to say first time in Israel and the hospitality is just amazing. Please give yourselves a round of applause for just being awesome human beings. Please now come party with us outside. We'll see you later. So there's not much more to add than that. I want to thank you and I want to thank everybody who's been here and been part of this. My special thanks to Rodrigo Montero, whose vision brought this our crowd sink to Sao Paulo, building our crowd here, Rodrigo Montero. And your total team, you guys rock. I want to thank Ari Goldberg and Deborah Blank and the rest of the, and Eric uh, Brand, if you're watching from Israel at this late hour, the whole our crowd events team, the Experience Club who helped us, all of our sponsors and partners, and you, our attendees. Give yourselves a hand, and let's go have a drink outside. Thank you very much. See you next year.